Hello, my name is Janet May and um, I run an organisation called Esther Community Resources. Um, we're part of the third sector voluntary organisation. Our um, services are, um, we run a food distribution service, so we offer food to people who are experiencing financial um, or are changing their financial circumstances. Um, the food that we do get is from Marks and Spencers, um, Pret, Amange and Eat, the food company. That food would otherwise go to landfill, um, so it's redirected back into the community um, where people, homeless, um, who are our beneficiaries. Um, we have single parents, um, even your own white coloured worker who's experiencing redundancy. So that's part of our service, we do a dual service and we adopt the HOPE initiative which means help one person eat and help one person excel. The second arm of um, Esther Community Services is that we run a project called ICANN. ICANN is based um, or it's um, directed to young people who are 10, between 10 and 25 and we offer holistic packages um, in the areas of gun and knife crime. Um, consequential thinking, parenting skills, um, a host of many packages that is tailor-made for that young person. Um, we um, work with the youth offending services and with schools and I think our aim is really to prevent um, young people from going within the, um, following the route of um, crime and um, we have quite a lot of volunteers, about 40. 45 and we have six distribution services, one in Warsaw and five in Birmingham. One of the success stories I can say that we've benefited from or our customers have benefited from was one individual who had a drug related problem and um, he came to us. We not just give food out but we have sort of like a befriending service where um, our clients may have problems with benefits or um, accessing different services. So we have that service where they come in, we sit down, we have a chat with them and we talk about where they're at at that point and try to help them um, get back into work. And this particular person had a drug problem, so he had an addiction of crack and cocaine and um, got back on his feet. We threw a lot of working very closely with different agencies. Um, we managed to wean him off. and. Um, he met someone, had a good relationship with that individual and they got married and he now repays us back by being a volunteer and um, I think to see stories like that it just makes it worthwhile. Um, a lot of our volunteers commit their time selfishly. Um, we're not funded as yet um, so everything that we do is because we're very passionate about it and we see the need that um, people need food. It's um, it's a need, and you know, um, it's not you know, it's a privi it's not a privilege; it's a right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's the um, program that we do, um, or the service that we do offer. Um, alternatively, I run another organisation which is an Aroma Pure. We deal with the holistic therapies, um, ranging from different types of massage, de-stressing, energising massage, hot stone massage and basically it's helping the body work with its own immune system. A lot of clients prefer to go through the holistic routes or complementary therapy as opposed to um, the orthodox um, way of um, dealing with complaints. Not to say or to rule out that medicine isn't important, which I, I totally agree. And I think some of our clients, if they do come, we ask them to consult their doctor. But um, part of um, aromatherapy and complementary therapy does help anxiety and people who are suffering from different mental health problems as well. Um, one of our programmes that we have um, introduced is called Relax Exam. That's based for, or it's um, directed with young people who are um, going through stressful times during exams. So it's um, helping them to concentrate and to um, look at things slightly differently and giving them that sense of, I can achieve, I can do something with my life. Um, so these two services are, are very, very important to the community um, and I think that it would ease the burden of the NHS, firstly. It would um, help young people to have a sense of purpose 
which I think is um, very important, especially in these days. And hopefully that they could go and retrain and become, you know, business owners. Um, and then, you know, that would ease a lot on the economy itself because we've got young entrepreneurs and people who want to do something with their lives. Um, and that's it. Thank you.